Welcome back to Reading with Miss Michelle. Today we're going to read Nickelodeon SpongeBob SquarePants, SpongeBob Rocks, written by Kelly Chiponery, illustrated by Heather Martinez. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy started a rock band. They were called Tidal Wave. Sandy played the guitar. Patrick played the drums. SpongeBob was the lead singer. Their songs, Seaweed Sway, Motion in the Ocean, and Jumpin' Jellyfish were big hits. Tidal Wave was the talk of the ocean. The band had been performing all over Bikini Bottom. Our fans are cooler than an ice cube in winter, Sandy said. The band was chased by excited fans from one end of the sea to the other. At the Krusty Krab and even on their tour bus. We've got to get ready for our big concert at the Poseidon, said SpongeBob. Tidal Wave practiced for weeks. Jumpin', jumpin', jellyfish, SpongeBob sang. Everyone loved Tidal Wave. That is, everyone except Squidward. Those fools are just making noise, not music. And they didn't even invite me to play, Squidward said grumblingly. That night, Squidward sneaked into SpongeBob's house. He stole all the band's instruments. The next day, the band was shocked to find their instruments missing. Who would do this? asked SpongeBob. How will we play tonight? asked Sandy. What's for lunch? asked Patrick. SpongeBob, Patrick, and Sandy sat and thought. Patrick picked up his drumsticks and started to tap. Tap, 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 tap. I can't think with you tapping, said Sandy. Sorry, said Patrick. Wait, don't stop, SpongeBob said. He started tapping on the table. Tap, 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 tap. I have an idea, he said. The band posted flyers all over Bikini Bottom asking for the safe return of their instruments. Later, Tidal Wave arrived at the famous Poseidon for their big concert. Hey dudes, where are your drums and your guitar? asked Scooter, a devoted fan. We're playing with these tonight, said SpongeBob. He pointed to a sand dollar and several shells. We will be performing unplugged, said Sandy. What does that mean? asked another fan. Patrick will tap on these shells, Sandy explained. I will shake the sand dollar and Spongebob will blow into this conch shell. Spongebob held the shell up to his mouth and blew. Bonk! Cool, cheered his fans. Just then, Squidward showed up holding one of the flyers the band had made. I know where your instruments are, Squidward said. You do? Where are they? asked Sandy. I have them, said Squidward, a little ashamed. I took them from you because you did not ask me to be in your band. We did not know you wanted to be in the band, Squidward, said SpongeBob. We would be happy if you played with us. Really? asked Squidward. I brought my clarinet. Well then, I have an idea, Sandy said. Later that night, Tidal Wave took the stage. Patrick drummed on the shells, SpongeBob blew in his conch shell, and Sandy shook the sand dollar. And the newest band member, Squidward, played his clarinet. Fans cheered as Tidal Wave rocked the Poseidon till the wee hours. At the end of the concert, everyone yelled, More! SpongeBob waved to the fans. Bikini Bottom Rocks, he yelled. The end. Thanks for joining me. 
I hope you enjoyed listening to this book and I hope you were able to read along with me. Don't forget to help us out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with all of your friends. And I hope you join me next time. Bye.